Alright, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. Getting right back into it, we've got the thief girl on our side, and all we have to do is pretty much get her up without being attacked. So there's four enemies come here. We're gonna take her. We're gonna... Oh. Yeah, if you go on the wall, she can't follow you anymore. So. That's gonna be your best bet. Usually to stop her moving. As long as you keep these guys, well, from getting any closer, they can't do anything. And ta-da! Those guys are down. There's more where that came from. I'd help you, but they took my gear and armor, you know all my other stuff. So, she'd help fight, but she's too weak and just not able to do anything. So we will have to keep that in mind as we travel. Also, there's an item here, apparently. Let's go. Across this. But there's no way of crossing this next area. It's a bit weird at times. So we can already see we can't cross there, but we can walk through this part. And we actually have blue of these guys. I'm not used to the blue ones, but I guess they work. Unfortunately, we cannot swim through these areas. Well, we can swim through the areas, we just can't do much else. And these stupid eyes are the bats. So, get used to those. Instead, go through here and exit, and that'll actually knock this thing over that we are able to actually go grab her and continue on with our path. Which of course includes jumping to our death. Of course not, why would that help? Come on. So, if you've been able to find out, um, this is definitely the, um, the, I guess, alternate of the boy thief that we were uh, having to do work with, well, not work with, uh, we got the boots from. So, we can head through here, and I believe this will drain the water. It means we can finally go get that treasure that's up in the middle up there. But I want to heal a bit first if I can. Finally, our first monster horn. Those are found more commonly in dungeons. So, we'll head in and get the silver rupee. It's a good thing that those two uh, candles are there, because if you could get in here early, then you would wind up landing in the water, and you can't merge in the water, so you basically kill yourself in that situation. Which would be a, a pretty unfortunate way to lose your uh, progress. So we head to here, take it further up, and once she's here, we can actually just leave her there, and I think thanks to the bombs we have, I can blow up that one? Nope. Alright, I guess I'll use my bombs over here. That is not what I want to do. No. We just drop our bomb there. We should be able to make it onto this area by the time it gets hit. So we can actually knock those guys off the cliff. Unfortunately, they hit us too hard. We lost our items. And Ravio, despite being in a different world, takes back his items. We'll go from the blacksmiths, because we're going to need to go back to... Well, we don't need to go back to Ravio, but... Quit collapsing all over the place. Try to help someone just get in your way. Is that Gully? Who ever heard of such a name? Even if I had kids, I'd never name one Gully. Gully is the green uh, sage that I was thinking of. So... We know we can already get back into that dungeon. We have the middle ring, so we've passed our halfway point. Let's head back, I guess. I mean, we don't have a fairy, and 
We probably cannot find one in this dungeon, but we will find out shortly, I suppose. Oh, and they get just auto-teleported back to theirs, because once we've fallen, they don't have much to protect them. Even though they could just, you know, take our sword and uh, deal with things. But it's not the end of the world where we wound up. And the path actually opens up for us again. So, instead of, yep, yeah, it gets closed off again. Are you coming with me? Come on. You cannot run if you have her, unfortunately. Oh, that door's already open. Sweet. Any puzzle you have solved, even enemy fights it looks like, has been uh, continued without worry. And so, turning through this a second time isn't the worst thing in the world. We just have to be very careful to not fall to our death. Because, well, unfortunately, we're still not very good at that. Separate again. Ah, alright. So you're supposed to merge this wall, go over this way, and then deal with these guys? Which you're gonna have to anyways, because you need this brooch down. Yeah, the second you're leading and you're passing this area, that's where the issue comes. See, this is much easier with the uh, laser beams and the fact that none of them will go after her because they can't get to her. So, we'll sword beam lower that. And that opens up this path, which, thanks to our boots, we can actually run quick to get to. That That's the item that's hidden in the wall over here. And thanks to her not following the boots, we can just charge this way. Get our item. Master Ore. With Master Ore, they can improve the Master Sword. However, I believe you need two to be able to do it. So, we'll be stuck with this Master Sword until we find another one. That's another one of the benefits of this dungeon. Uh, once you've done this one and the other one that has the one other item, yeah, we'll let you stand here, and we will head up and do the long road ourselves. But step on this one, opens the door, and summons the enemies. So talk to her, run down this way. And we can continue going after. Fortunately, with sword beams, we do have the range needed to take out these guys. But we... Hey, don't you touch her. Okay, because yeah, if they touch her... They're going to basically just bring her right back to where we started all this again. So, two ways we can fail. We can die, and she can get um, caught. Either one of those will revert us back to, basically, we haven't started progress. And there is the door that we originally passed. So we have finally caught up to where we were when we started. Bring her over here. Nope. All right. Fine. Now we can retreat back. Yeah, opening that path will just drop everything there. Since that's a one path needed thing. Look at that. 
can't do anything to stop it, immediately teleports us back to here. Come on, take me outside. Is this going to at least let me go down? Okay, thank you. Because we've passed this area, they don't lock it on us. In which case, we can handle the one room we had to backtrack through for this. And you can see we took out one earlier, so... Perfect. We've made it successfully past. I don't think there's anything up here for two people. I was right. Come with me. We shall resume our ascent. Because the boss was right next to the front door, if I remember correctly. Now the fun part. Wait there. We have to do a lot of merging. Oh, it's not that one. It's this one. Take the same path. Come with me. Go this way. And now we can continue on. And finally, you can see there's a few more treasure chests on this map. Uh, excuse you. This is like, um, Ruto all over again. Gotta use her for switches. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world, not too many switches require it. Gonna walk past, yep. We get the silver rupee. So, this, the correct way of solving this one is just, yeah, turn on that. And then deal with these guys at your leisure, because they can't do anything to stop you. As opposed to trying to fight them repeatedly and having to deal with them attacking and everything. And we have made it to the front door, which they have now sealed. Big door is the only way out. Hope we've got a key. Well, we do not. Sorry. Come with me. The key is up here. Which lets you see these things. Which, we saw them earlier. It's just they're something we can merge into. But here is the key. The big key. And, predictably, we've had to do... Oh this a few times. Come with me. Oh, wait a second. There's a door over here. I've had to do this a few times. Fine. You. Come with me. Door. Treasure chest. More money. We're already in a good place. The Thieves Town is a great uh, initial money area. Because look at that. 906 rupees. We are full health. We don't have a fairy, is probably the only downside. But let's walk in. And unfortunately, Thief Girl is trapped back there. I think you'd let me escape with the hero. That's good. And here is the boss. Predictably, though, I don't think we're going to be able to handle the boss in this. So, if you swing at him, he will dodge you, and the only way to get him is to sneak up on him. You can also hurt him a bit while he's trying to uh, get you that- oh, you've got sword beams. But as long as he is uh, solid, you have a chance of hurting him. 
but now he's realized you've been using his shield against him, so... Fortunately, this means he's not going to guard regular attacks at all, unless he goes uh, ghosts, for lack of a better term. And he has a spin attack. As nice as it would be for us to have the same spin attack, we do not. Also, um, his head can fly. And so long as you avoid his head, his body is a lot less of a threat than it used to be. I guess, you know, not being able to see does make it a little easier for you to um, not be able to see. We've almost won this. Head is down. That will be the end of this episode. We will see what we get as a benefit next time. But the Thief's Hideout has been completed. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Well, it looks like you got him. Good riddance. Let's go. That door will lead us out of this place. See you guys then.